The restless deer was sweating a lot and was soaking wet. The deer stared straight at the woman, even if it wanted to run, it didn't have the strength. What happened to this deer? Why did it become like this? The sky accommodates every cloud, whether they are beautiful or ugly. So the sky is vast and boundless. The earth holds every inch of land, so the earth is vast. The ocean accepts every river, so the ocean is magnificent. Accepting a person or a thing is not easy. We not only have to change in behavior but also overcome psychological barriers in order to achieve self-improvement. A newly born deer should have been pampered by its mother, but unfortunately its mother suffered an accident. It gave birth to the deer prematurely, then left and could no longer be happy with its cub. The death of the mother was a fatal blow to the deer. Not long after it was born, it didn't know how to hunt, and its mother died. This little deer had no choice and didn't know how life should go on. This little deer wanted to learn to walk quickly, but unfortunately it didn't have enough strength to support its body not long after it was born. The deer that was about to stand up immediately collapsed to the ground. This woman happened to pass by and saw the poor deer. Looking at the weak deer, the woman guessed that the mother deer must have done its best when it gave birth to the deer. Until the fawn was born, the doe was powerless to continue living. The woman did not hesitate to bring the deer home and wanted to raise it slowly. Although this woman had a good idea, the reality was cruel. This little deer was different from normal children, so raising this little deer not only needed to overcome the external environment, but also understood the real needs of this little deer. After a few days, the woman was exhausted, and the deer was still dying. At first, the woman didn't know what was going on, so she deliberately purchased a breastfeeding device for deer. But the little deer still couldn't drink all the milk on its own. Later, the woman tried to feed it with a small spoon, but every time the food spilled a lot on the ground, so that there was very little food that could be eaten by the deer. The woman didn't want to see the fawn go on like this. So she took the fawn to a doe that had just given birth, hoping to get help. Originally, the woman thought that the doe would not accept the fawn, after all, it was not its child at all. But what happened then took the woman by surprise. When the deer was carried by the woman to the doe's side, the doe stared straight at the deer and seemed to have recognized that the deer was not its child. But the doe kept thinking about the limping look of the fawn, and eventually it provided the fawn with milk. After a few minutes, they were getting along fine. The rescued fawn guarded the doe just like the other fawns. The picture of them getting along was very warm. Not only did the doe not reject the fawn, but the other fawns did not dislike it either. The deer lay quietly beside the doe after feeding on its breast milk. Perhaps it had not enjoyed its mother's love for a long time, so the fawn seemed to cherish the time spent with the doe. The fawn lay affectionately beside the doe, its head curled beside its belly. And the doe held it in its arms like any other child, for fear that they would be stolen. After a period of feeding, the deer gradually grew bigger and ate more independently than before. If it wasn't for the fact that this fawn was bigger than the others, it would be almost impossible to tell that they didn't come from the same mother. The doe must have been conflicted for a long time before she could accept the fawn calmly and keep the fawn and raise it. It is a sense of responsibility that allows us to help others, not only for their benefit but for ourselves as well. We do what we should do. The doe put in a lot of effort to do what it promised, 